Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Mrs. Washington. We're gonna sing all the letters: A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Oh, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Oh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Oh, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh, A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Who remembers what letter we were doing? R. R. Down, round at the top, and slide down the rainbow. And the little R is down and a rainbow. So we're going to be finishing up letter R. And the first thing I want to do is some word sliders. Since some of you are really good at reading words, we can sound out some words. P. It. <laughs> Pit. That's a hard one. Peach pit. That was really hard.、Peach、What about p in, in a pin? And let's sound out this one. V a n van. Good. Today we're going to be finishing up letter R, and I have my little ra ra rabbit. He's a cute little rabbit, and he wants to hear the rabbit story about him. The little rabbit who wanted red wings. And this is by Carolyn Sherwin Bailey. Once there was a little rabbit who had soft pink ears, bright red eyes, a soft, short, fluffy tail. He was such a cute little rabbit, but no, he wasn't happy. He wanted to be somebody other than the little rabbit he was. Look, he's drawing pictures of elephants and frogs and tigers. He wishes he could be anything but a rabbit. Whenever Mr. Bushytail, the gray squirrel, passed by, little rabbit would say to his mommy, "Oh, mommy, I wish I had a gray tail like Mr. Bushytail's." Does he like his fluffy tail? No. no, he wants the gray one. And whenever Mr. Porcupine would pass by, little rabbit would say to his mommy, "Oh, mommy, I wish I had a back full of pokies like Mr. Porcupine." Wow, so cool! Does he have any pokies? No. no. And whenever Mrs. Puddle Duck passed by with her red flippers, Little Rabbit would say to his mommy, "Oh, mommy, I wish I had a pair of red flippers like Mrs. Puddle Duck, 'cause they could swim good with those flippers." Old Mr. Groundhog heard the Little Rabbit wishing. Old Mr. Groundhog was very wise. He said to the Little Rabbit, "Well, why don't you go down in the wishing pond? If you look at yourself in the water and turn around three times, your wish will come true." So Little Rabbit scampered off through the woods till he came to a pool of water lying in a low tree stump. That was the wishing pond. Beside the wishing pond was a small red bird drinking happily. As soon as the Little Rabbit saw him, he began to wish, "Oh, I wish I had a pair of red wings so he could fly like that bird." Then he looked at the wishing pond, saw his face, turned around three times, and then something happened. The Little Rabbit began to have a strange feeling in his shoulders. Kind of like when you have in your mouth when teeth are growing in. But guess what was poking through his shirt? Yeah, that's what he wished for. His wish is coming true. So he sat all day in the woods by the wishing pond, waiting for his wings to grow bigger and bigger. Just before sundown, he started home to show his mommy his beautiful pair of red wings. It was dark when Little Rabbit reached home. He knocked at the door. His mother opened it right away. But when she saw him, she didn't know him. No, she really, truly didn't know him, for she had never seen a little rabbit with red wings before. No, no, no! You're not my rabbit. You go away. You're a stranger. Little rabbit had no choice but to look for somewhere to spend the night, because his mommy wouldn't even let him into his own bed. After a while, he went to Mr. Bushytail's house. Little rabbit knocked at the door and said, "Please, kind Mr. Bushytail, may I sleep in your house tonight?" But as soon as Mr. Bushytail saw the strange rabbit, he slammed the door shut. He had never seen such a little rabbit with red wings in all his life. Stranger, stranger, weird rabbit. Does he know him? He doesn't even recognize him. Little rabbit went on till he came to Mrs. Puddle Duck. Please, kind Mrs. Puddle Duck, may I sleep in your nest all night? But Mrs. Puddle Duck poked her head out of the nest. No, 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 no! 
you go away. For she too had never seen such an odd looking rabbit in all her life. Does she want him around her babies? So little rabbit went to Mr. Old Groundhog's hole. Wise old groundhog recognized him at once. But the hole had beech nuts. And while it pleased Mr. Groundhog, the nuts made it very uncomfortable. He had a terrible night's sleep rolling all over. But in the morning, little rabbit decided to try out his new wings and fly. So he climbed to the hill, spread out his wings, and jumped off. But did he fly? No, he landed in a bush full of pokies. His feet got stuck. He couldn't get down. Help! Mommy! Mommy! Come and help me! Of course, Mommy couldn't hear him. But old Mr. Groundhog came and got him out of the bushes and pulled out the pokies. Ow! Ow! Do you still want these strange red wings? No, said Little Rabbit. I just want to be myself again. Well, then go back to the wishing pond and wish them off again. So quick as a wink, Little Rabbit went back to the wishing pond. He looked in and wished he could just be himself. I just want to be myself. He turned around three times, and sure enough, his wings got smaller and smaller till they disappeared. And Little Rabbit went straight home to his mommy. She knew him right away and was overjoyed to see the little rabbit she loved. Because she loves him just the way he is, right? And now, little rabbit never, ever wishes to be somebody other than himself. Because being yourself is pretty special. Well, I got this hat. And this hat is magical. Sometimes I wear it, but it got a little small. But you can see there's nothing in it. It's just an empty hat. But we're going to do a magic trick. Where's my wand? And we're going to make a rabbit appear. All right, um, Mahina, you come do it this time. Can you come right over here and maybe use this hand to do the wand and say abracadabra. And, use, and then use this hand to pull, pull out a rabbit. Whoa, wow, what just came out of that? A rabbit. A rabbit. Oh, he's such a cute little rabbit with a fluffy tail. Would we want him to have red wings? No. no. Would you want him to have an elephant trunk? Or sharp claws to scratch you? No, we love the little rabbit just like he is. Just like we love you, just how you are. Well, we're going to sing a song. It's a rainbow song. And because all the colors of the rainbow are pretty special. We're going to be making some R's with these rainbow wands. And singing the world is a rainbow. Okay, so first I want you to make some big R's. Or just a little down and a rainbow, little R. Down and a rainbow. Lots of rainbows. Lots of colors. Yellow, black, and white, and brown. Spin around. You see them all around. Spin around, spin around. World, make a rainbow. Down and a rainbow. Lots of people. It takes all kinds of people to make the world go round. Spin around. Now point to your friends. Now you be you and I'll be me. That's the way we were meant to be. Big mixing pot. The world is a mixing pot. Stir it up. Look what happens when you stir it up. Stir it up. All right, now we're going to make some big R's. Ready? Big R like this. Down, roll at the top, and slide down the rainbow. Down, round, slide at the rainbow. Down, round at the top, slide down the rainbow. So one more. Down, round at the top, slide down the rainbow. Ready to point to your friend? Now you be you, and I be me. The world is a big sea cup. Stir it up. Cup is when you stir it up. Stir it up. So did you notice we were making some little R's? We were going down and a rainbow. We made a lot of little R's with that. And we made in the middle some big R's. Down, round at the top, and we slid down the rainbow. You guys did really good at that. We're going to play a rainbow game. So everyone stand up and line up behind our rainbow. R is for rainbow. Ra, 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 rainbow. 
Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. These are, no, can't pull it. These are the colors of a rainbow. Take the rainbow, lock him up. <laughs> Take the rainbow, lock him up. <laughs> Take the rainbow, lock him up. We caught Pipe Pipe and Packer. A little bit we caught him. So first, we're going to practice with these balls. We're going to practice R for roll. Remember, roll is like this. Not, um, roll is not a kick or a throw. It's a roll. Okay, so we're going to be rolling it back and forth. And then I'm going to add someone in the middle. And they're going to have to dodge while we roll it. But first, let's just practice rolling it. So roll all around. R is for roll. Ra, 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 roll. All right, ready? And try and get them. R is for roll. Ra, 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 roll. R is for roll. Ra, 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 roll. All right, I have one more story. At the end of the story, I'm going to ask you for the R words. Once upon a time, there was a young rabbit who wanted to be rich more than anything else in the world. His mommy told him there's more important things than having money. Roger Rabbit, you should be grateful to have a healthy body, a loving family, and lots of carrots to eat. But Roger Rabbit was not happy with his life. He wished for, for more. One day, Roger Rabbit was hopping around when a big rain cloud appeared. It began to rain very hard. Roger Rabbit hid under the roots of a tree and waited. When the rain stopped and the sun came out, a rainbow appeared in the sky. Roger Rabbit had heard that if you go to follow the end of the rainbow, you will find a pot of gold and be rich. He wasted no time in setting out on his journey to the rainbow's end. He couldn't wait to be rich, rich, rich. As Roger Rabbit was hopping towards the rainbow, he saw a big dark shadow following him. Roger Rabbit looked behind him and saw a rhinoceros chasing him. The rhino used his big horn to try and poke little Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit tried to hop quicker, but he's no match for that rhino. The rhino took his horn and flung Roger Rabbit on to the sky. Roger Rabbit was scared. He landed and scampered down in a hole to get away. Once in the hole, Roger Rabbit licked his wound. It had been a close call, but he was determined not to let that mean rhino stop him from, the end, from his journey to the end of the rainbow. Roger Rabbit set out again to follow the rainbow. It's difficult to get because right when you think you're getting close to the end of the rainbow, it moves a little further out of reach. Roger Rabbit was so focused on looking at the rainbow that he didn't watch where he was going. Suddenly he heard the rattling sound of warning. He looked down and saw a rattlesnake coiled up ready to strike. Roger Rabbit jumped as high as he could. Luckily he hopped so high that he made it over the rattlesnake trying to strike at him. Whew! Roger, Roger, sat, Roger Rabbit sat down to rest. His heart was pumping hard from being so scared. It was almost going to be dark soon, and he still had not reached the end of the rainbow. Roger Rabbit thought about how he almost got hurt twice. He also thought about how worried his mommy would be when he didn't come home before dark. He thought about what was really, really important. Did he want to risk it for the illusion of riches at the end of the rainbow? No. What's more important, family or rich? Family or rich? Family. Family. Yeah. Roger Rabbit knew at that moment what was really important. He missed his family. He might not see them again if he continued. Roger Rabbit hopped home as quick as he could. His mommy was right. He had everything he needed. He was strong and healthy. He had a family who loved him. And he knew some carrots would be waiting for him when he reached his home. He didn't need the false promises of riches at the end of the rainbow. He already had everything he could want. Riches cannot buy happiness. What did you hear that starts with R, Oakley? Rabbit. Rabbit. Mahina? What is this one? Rainbow. Rainbow. Thea? What tried to poke him? Tyrannosaurus. It's not a tyrannosaurus. What is it? A rhino. A rhino. What else tried to bite him? Rattlesnake. Althea, what was this coming out of the sky? Rain. Rain. And he wanted to be rich, rich, rich. rich. Yep, you guys got all. Oh, and what was his name? Something rabbit. rabbit. Roger Rabbit. Roger was his name. But all those start with R. Well, today I'd like us to look up here. 
because we have our picture word chart right here that we're going to do rat. Rat. She's going to draw a line from rat, rat, to the picture rat. There we go. Rat, rat. That's a match. Thea, go give to someone. Rain, rain to rain. There we go. Okay, Pipe, Pipe, go give to someone. Rainbow to rainbow. Okay, Oakley, go give to someone. Mahina, can you do rat? Ab it. Rabbit. Rabbit to rabbit. Rabbit to rabbit. R for rabbit. R for rainbow. R for rain. And R for rat. Did he get all of them? Yeah. Thank you, Packer. Did we have any big R's? No. No. If we had Rosabelle up here, she's important. Did we have little R's? Yeah. How many little R's? One, two, three, four. And what is this word? Rat. 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 Rain. And rainbow. And rabbit. Today we're going to be doing this word. I'll write it on the board and you can spell it with Mrs. Watson. Everyone say R A I N B O W. Rainbow. rainbow. And this is what our rainbow will look like. You can do the colors with your water paints. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. You can write some big R's in your cloud. Even the word rainbow. And you can write uh, Packer's rainbow. Write your name in there. Pie Pie's rainbow. So we know whose rainbow it is. All of you look at your friends and say, Bye, friends. Bye. Have fun on our day.